hello 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 again so this if I title this video the way I think I'm gonna title it this is gonna be my uh, designer jewelry collection uh, and this is where I keep everything so this is like my at-home jewelry counter this is what I like to call it uh, I have storage underneath there but this is just an old TV stand um, used to have one of those big TVs and we put it on here and there's drawers down there you know just an usual deal but I decided nope this is gonna be perfect to display my jewelry and it makes me quite happy so anyhow just to show you how I have everything set up I have these containers from the container store uh, uh, jewelry boxes and they're meant to stack so they're meant to stack on each other and then at the very top you can just have uh, this plexiglass on top but instead I got a what six yeah one two three four five yeah there's six and I got a plexiglass top for each of them so I can have them display and yeah this reminds me of a jewelry counter so anyways <laughs> I have a variety of things on top of the counter and then below is where I actually um, store all of my uh, designer jewelry most of my designer jewelry so anyhow, if we start to the left here, I have this tray uh, to, all right, I just got a low battery signal. That's hilarious. I have this tray for uh, my watches. I have my lovely watches here and my bracelets. I have a little bit of everything. This is uh, not branded, but I love this bracelet. I'm going to get it made out of 18 karat gold one of these days. Uh, this is just costume jewelry now. So anyhow, I have a little bit of everything as far as bracelets go. I have a little Hermes, uh, LV, and then watches, mainly Movado, but I do have a coach watch. And back here, I keep bracelets. This is fine jewelry on this side. So I keep bracelets and long necklaces. So that's fine jewelry. This is fine jewelry. A bunch of necklaces here. A little bit of everything. Tiffany, Cartier, non-branded, fine jewelry. The same here, non-branded and Bulgari. Uh, and these are costume jewelry on this side. Have a little everything. And as you can see, non-branded. I have a little bit of LV. This is my favorite, favorite necklace here. This is my LV monogram necklace. Uh, oops, and that's on the wrong side. This is uh, fine jewelry. This is fine jewelry. That should be on the other side. Okay, dokie. I need to go and leave this alone. I could have fixed that after this video. Anyway, <laughs> so if we mosey on over here, oh yes, this is where I keep my uh, uh, wedding ring set. Uh, if I wear my wedding ring set too many days in a row, my skin, you can tell, starts doing this funky thing. It's almost like I'm having an allergic reaction, who knows. So I take it off at the end of each night and uh, that helps to this have this calm down and then over here these is a couple of my newest acquisitions and what they are are these little Versace trays little vanity trays I guess is what they call them isn't it beautiful god I love these things but anyways so um, if I'm too lazy to actually put away my jewelry I dump them here so I just drop them off here and then I'll put them wherever they need to go later so in this jewelry box, I keep all of my fine jewelry. A number of pieces of fine jewelry in here. Oh, and those are some gift cards I've gotten over the years. Usually these are mostly um, presents. So anyhow, fine jewelry, silver and gold. And then I have my collection of sunglasses and I have a little, you know, some coach. I have uh, Chanel. Uh, what is this rag and bone another coach one and behind there this is just for decoration behind there is where i keep in these drawers costume jewelry that's unbranded it's not designer but i still love so i just have different pieces of jewelry here these are all studs and then if you go down some let me scoot this forward if you go down some then you have bigger jewelry here and at the bottom if I remember correctly I believe these are mainly my hoops yeah a bunch of different hoops 
love hoop earrings. Love, love, love hoop earrings. Alrighty, and then here, just miscellaneous crap. These are like earring backs. And then what's over here? Oh yeah, nothing. This is more costume jewelry. So that's what's on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, move everything, take off the lid so you guys can see what's underneath. All right, all right, all right. So I'm back. And these are all of my babies. <laughs> yeah, I love jewelry. And yes, I still, I still love costume jewelry. I know a lot of the uh, trend is to go to fine jewelry, which I own too. But I love the variety you get with costume jewelry. To me, it's like having whatever, 50 odd pieces of costume jewelry, even if some are hundreds of dollars, I'd rather have that than 10, you know, real gold. If it has to be an either or, but again, it doesn't have to be either or. You can freaking do both. It's not a waste because if you want to be real, all of the, the Cartier, the Van Cleef, the whole nine yards, I mean, they're vastly inflated pieces of jewelry <laughs> and you can go to a local jeweler and get exquisitely crafted one-of-a-kind pieces for a fraction of that price but you know we're not here to talk about the pros and cons of doing whatever this is what I love so anyways here we go so I have different pieces here and we'll just start over here so I have a LV these are both Chanel little dangles. This is like one of my best deals ever. I found these earrings, I think for like $4.50. And these are going for like well over $1,000 right now. It's hilarious. These are the Chanel cage, bird cage earrings. Anyways, a pair of Givenchy earrings. And then more. Uh, this is a Louis Vuitton. It's like one of these little huggy rings. I mean, earrings. And then I have these Chanel. This is actually sterling silver. This says Chanel on them. Chanel. So anyways, I really don't have time to be looking at every single pair of earrings. I'll do a different, you know, this, you know, I'll do a, um, a uh, collection of my earrings. So anyways, this is Coach. Some Coach earrings here. Love these Huggies. That's really, these little Huggy earrings are just so, I just love them. They're really fun to wear. Oh, this makes me sick. I'm missing the pair to this. Don't know where it is. Oh. So anyhow, I have more here. Some more Chanel pieces. And then Dior, which I just started getting to over the summer. Oh my gosh, I love it. I just I've done a, a Dior collection and a Chanel collection. So you can go look at those for more details. Also down here, not only is it more Chanel jewelry, but I also have these big necklaces. And this is, again, another great video. Oh, wait. My uh, assistant is asking me to pause it. Don't start one. I have to start. Lord, this child just told me she had to use the bathroom. That's why she wanted me to pause the video. Oh, my goodness. I don't care about using the bathroom. Anyway. <laughs> so, it's more jewelry. I have here's a vintage necklace. It's a modern necklace. Oh, I was saying this was another great deal. This was like $2,500 on the Chanel website. I got this, I think. What did I get this for? Fraction, like like 90% off. It was crazy. But I just, I love it. I just love it. Y'all yeah, have to do a detailed, an updated Chanel collection. But anyhow, this is a Chanel belt. It's my other belt, Louis Vuitton. This is Versace. I'm really getting into Versace right now. Ooh. Oh, okay, there we go. And these are the, you just saw these in the tray, but these are more Chanel earrings. Where did those? This is a bunch of my vintage Chanel. Love these ones. Absolutely love them. Love, love, love. So I have more earrings here. These are Swarovski, Swarovski earrings. Oh my God, I can't speak. Uh, more Chanel. This is, uh, well, this is unbranded, actually, but I love it. And then this is an LV necklace and some Dior. So, yeah, that's it, y'all. Just a quick video. Just wanted to show you what I love. 
All right, until next time, bye. Uh, next time, y'all, bye.